Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It is your boy KP here, and today I'm bringing you my Pick'em Challenge Major Predictions for the PGL Krakow 2017 Major for CSGO. So let's get right into it. So first of all, uh, the team that's going to go 3-0, I'm going to be going with SK here, simply because uh, they've made it to, I believe, last three grand finals of the tournaments they've played in. And this, their new roster looks amazing. Uh, it's SK at the major. Um, I believe Astralis and other legendary teams have a higher chance of getting upset in a best of one than SK does. They just looked so dominant their last couple tournaments. And that's why I'm going with SK. Now on the other spectrum, uh, the team that's going to go 0-3, so they're not going to win a single map. I am going to be going with uh, Vega Squadron here. Uh, you know, I love the guys, uh, really rooting for them to actually win a map or somehow maybe make it to the quarterfinals, but I just don't think it's going to happen, uh, although they have a cool logo. Um, I do think they're going to go 0-3 as the new veto system does not favor them to get an upset. So the remaining seven teams that will advance out of the group stage. Now, first couple here are going to be pretty easy picks. Uh, first of all, Astralis, last major champions. I would say SK or Astralis are very safe picks to go 3-0. The only reason I'm not picking Astralis is because I believe they have a higher chance of getting upset because there are a lot of other good teams in this tournament. Uh, secondly, another team that's going to make it out of the group stage, I believe, will be FaZe Clan. Uh, they've made it to four grand finals with Nico and one semifinals with Nico. They've never not made it past playoffs of a tournament they've been in with their new roster. So I think it's very safe to say that they will advance out of the group stage. Uh, for th or my third pick to make it out of the group stage, uh, I'm actually going to be going with Mouse Sports. Um, I know this is kind of a risky pick because Mouse is kind of known as that team that never makes it out of groups. However, their new roster looks really, really solid. And I believe the last tournament they played in, uh, Cologne, they simply didn't make it out of groups because they choked against Cloud9. But I think they have a really strong chance compared to some of these other teams to make out of groups, especially with the best of one system, the Swiss system. So for my fourth pick uh, to make it out of groups, I'm going to go with Navi uh, or Natus Vincere, if you want to say the long name. I'm choosing Navi because, I mean, they've never not made it out of groups, or maybe they haven't made it out of groups maybe five years ago. As far as I know, from when I've been watching competitive CSGO in late 2014, early 2015, every major they've played in, they've made it out of groups. Yeah, although they don't have Zeus and they have Simple now, I still think they're a really strong team, and compared to a lot of other teams in this tournament, they have a really, really high chance to at least make it to the quarterfinals, if not further. Uh, so that's why I'm picking Na'Vi for my fourth pick. For my fifth pick to make it out of groups, I'm going to be picking G2 Esports. I'm picking G2 because this is the French super team. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, they won, I believe, the ESL Pro League Finals in Dallas. And then after that, they had some mixed results. But I feel like compared to the other challenger teams in this tournament, they're a very good pick to make it out of the group stage and into the playoffs. And for my sixth pick to make it out of the groups and into playoffs, I'm actually going to be going with Cloud9 here. Uh, the reason I'm going with Cloud9 is because not only did they make a finals appearance in Cologne at their last tournament, the last three tournaments they've played in, they've made it out of the groups, and that, those were all Swiss system. And they've looked really, really good, not only on paper, but actually on land too. Shroud has been turning up. Nothing has his moments. Stewie's now the IGL, and I think when Stewie IGLs, he can still pull off those really insane plays, but it gives people like Shroud and Automatic and Skadoodle the opportunity to get more in the action, if you get what I'm saying. I just feel like it works better with Cloud9. They've proved it at their last three lands that this roster can make it out of group stage and into playoffs, and for that reason, that's why I'm picking Cloud9 to make it out of groups. Finally... Finally, I know this pick might surprise some people, but I'm going with Virtus Pro. And that reason, the sole reason for picking Virtus Pro 
over Fnatic and Gambit is because Virtus Pro is playing on home territory. We have to remember this. Although Virtus Pro is in a slump, everyone is going to be rooting for them. Their sole reason for getting out of groups and making it to the big stage, making it to the playoffs, is because they want to play in front of their home crowd. I doubt that they're going to let themselves get beat, you know, 0-3, 1-3, and knocked out of the tournament without making it to that stage. They're going to do whatever it freaking takes. Also, I'm a huge fan of Virtus Pro. They've made it out of groups at pretty much every major. So, I'm just going to go off the odds here. Fnatic's not looking like the, the greatest team, but they're a 50-50 if you want to put them instead of Virtus Pro. My other suggestion would be Gambit. They've put in about 200 hours, 150 hours on each player um, preparing for this major. Uh, so I think they are also a great pick to make it out of groups instead of Virtus Pro. But I really feel like I have a really good selection of the teams that will make it out. I think I have at least six or seven right out of the eight. You have to remember that you can't pick all eight legends or even six legends because the way Swiss system works, uh, I don't think four, more than five legend teams can make it out of groups. Just the way it works, uh, them getting matched together head to head. So you have to at least pick some challengers, and I think the ones I picked, Mouse, G2, and Cloud9, are definitely the strongest challengers in the group. So anyways guys, these are my PGL Major Krakow 2017 predictions for the Pick'em Challenge Day 1, but I guess this goes for the whole group stage. So you won't see Part 2 until the playoffs start, and those picks we have to get locked in in one day. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, turn notifications on so you know when the next video comes out for the pick and predictions. And hopefully we can get that gold. I'm 2 for 4 on goals. I got 1 silver and E-League fucked me over. I got a bronze on that. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you picked down in the comments below. If you went with my picks, whatever you changed, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Peace.